A well-designed coaching website can be a game changer when it comes to attracting and retaining clients. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will show you how to easily create your own professional-looking coaching website in just three simple steps using Wix and its beginner-friendly drag-and-drop editor. Although all the steps in this tutorial can be completed with a 100% free Wix account, I will also share a bonus tip on how to save 50% on most premium plans if you want to have a professional domain or some of the premium features. So, let's get started. Click the link in the description below to arrive at the sign-up page. To create a 100% free account, add your email address and click Start Now. On the next page, create your password. Alternatively, you can sign up using your Google or Facebook account. After clicking Sign Up, you arrive at this page. Choose the first option if you are building a website for yourself, your business, or a friend. Here, you can more fully describe your topic to receive better template recommendations. For the purpose of this video, let's pretend we're creating a website for a business coach named Alex Smith. In the next steps, you can configure a few additional things for your website and business. Please keep in mind that Wix is currently testing various designs and versions of this sign-up process. In some versions, you can select the goals and features for your website or choose a pre-made template. Regardless of the version you see, we always recommend skipping these steps by clicking on the button in the bottom right corner. By jumping straight to the dashboard, we can configure these things later in the editor where we'll have many more options to choose from. The dashboard you see before you is where you will manage all settings related to your website and business. From here you can connect a domain or begin optimizing your website to make it easier to get found on Google. But first, we must create the website. To do this, click on Design Site. Here you can choose to allow Wix's AI to build the site for you. Since these websites are limited in terms of design and functionality, we only recommend this option if you don't want to invest any time in building and customizing your website. Otherwise, click on Pick a Template. You can now see all the different template options for your website. The recommended templates in this list are already filtered by your topic. To see all available templates, simply click on All or delete the input in the search bar. Furthermore, we've also included our favorite coaching website examples in the description, in case you need inspiration. I really like this template. Clicking on View allows us to preview the entire template with its different subpages. We can also see how your website would look on a mobile device. And if you are unsure about the template, don't worry, you can always start over with a new template and build as many versions as you like for free. Once you have chosen the best template for your website, simply click on Edit. Becoming an editor expert requires mastering three essential skills. Deleting, adding, and changing things. I will walk you through each of these actions to show you how to apply them to whole pages, sections of a page, and individual elements. Once you've mastered these skills, you can start customizing your website to your liking. Now it's time to add some sub-pages and features to your website. You probably already have an idea of what pages and features you want on your website. But if you need guidance, we've analyzed dozens of coaching websites to identify common pages and apps. Our analysis shows that including an About Me page, a blog, and a contact page is almost a must-have for coaching websites. Additionally, 71% of the websites we reviewed included both a services page and a testimonial section, while 50% had a newsletter. Thus, adding these features and pages would be useful after launching the initial version of your coaching website. Other pages and features seem either less relevant or only necessary in specific cases. But don't worry if you're unsure about what to include, because you can choose any starting point and make changes or additions as needed. And please keep in mind that you don't need everything to launch your website. Focus on finishing your first version, and then add more if you like. Many websites never go live, and having too many pages to fill with content is one reason why. Let's now delete and hide the pages we don't need. According to our analysis, we need to add an About page, a Contact page, and a Services page with a Testimonial section to complete the list of subpages and apps. We will add the Newsletter box to the footer so we don't need a whole page for it. Now that we have all the subpages and apps we need, we can start the customization process. 
Let's start with the About page to show you how easy it is. Go to the page menu in the top left corner. Select the About page. First, let's change the picture and add one of Alex Smith, our fictional business coach. To do this, click on the picture. Now click on Change Image. Now upload your own images or search within the free library of images provided by Wix. To change an image's crop, double-click on it and change it. That looks good. The brand new AI text generator feature makes it much faster to write content for your website. Here's how it works. To open the AI text creator, first click on any text on your website and then on Create AI Text. Add a business type, a topic, and a few details and click Create Text. You will now receive three different AI-generated versions that you can use for free by clicking on Use Text. Of course, it is helpful to change the output and add a personalized touch, but having a tool to quickly draft a first version of text can be super useful, which is why we really love this feature. Let's now customize the blog and publish our first blog post. Go to the page menu and select the blog page. Click on the Posts section and then on Manage Posts. Here you can write new posts and manage all blog-related settings. You can also open this section directly from your dashboard by clicking on Blog from the left side menu. Let's start by creating our first post. Click on Create New Post in the upper right corner to open this window. Now write your first blog post as you would in any other text editor. To categorize your blog posts, add some tags and categories. When finished, click Publish. You can find your blog post in the overview and also in the post section for the blog page. Should you receive any comments on your blog posts, you will find them in the comments section of the blog menu. Here, you can manage the comments and reply if needed. On the contact page, you can easily change the title, background image, and contact details. You can also add the location of your business and change the address on the map. Simply click on the map and then on Manage Locations. From here, you can change the address. Let's now customize the contact form. You can easily rename the field names, buttons, and the text that will appear after submitting the form. In addition, you can add new fields such as a phone number. To do this, click on the form and then on Add New Field. Choose the field you want to add and drag and drop it into your form. To enable the form and save the submissions, click on it and then on Create Submission Table. You can now find all form submissions in your dashboard in the Communication section. You can also set up email notifications to ensure you are immediately notified when a potential client completes the form. When finished with your website, click on the Preview button in the top right corner. I recommend that you review every page for both desktop and mobile to ensure it all looks good. To change something, simply click on Back to Editor. Let's say I want to delete this element on mobile. Quickly do this by using the Mobile Editor, which you can always access by clicking on the mobile icon in the menu. It's important to note that any position and styling changes you do on mobile won't affect your desktop view, so you can optimize both views independently from each other. After reviewing all your pages on both devices, you only need to choose a domain name and publish the website. To do this, click on the blue Publish button in the top right corner. That's it. People find your website by entering this URL into any web browser. If you already have a professional domain name like alexsmithcoaching.com, you must upgrade to a premium plan to connect your domain to your website. To do this, click on Connect Your Domain in the Editor. You will now see a pop-up window that gives you two options. The second option enables you to connect a domain you already own. And if you do not have a professional domain name but would like one, you can do this through Wix by choosing one of their premium plans, which also allows you to get rid of the Wix ad you see on all free websites. Furthermore, you will receive tons of additional features. As promised, here's the bonus tip on how to save 50% on most premium plans. Wix typically promotes a 50% discount offer every week. If you don't see one after signing up, I recommend building your website, publishing it with the free plan, and then waiting for the 50% offer. 
it should not take more than one week to get notified. We have now completed every step in our process, making you well prepared to build your own stunning coaching website, if you haven't already. If you have any feedback or questions, please let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. It would mean the world to us and really helps us to make these videos. Thanks and good luck with your website.